Hi everybody. This is gonna be a quick video because the sun's about to set, but there was a location passed along to Colorado where you could potentially find trilobites. And we came out here looking for trilobites, but instead we found piece of lights. But for a trilobite, imagine you'd want to be looking in these sandstone rocks. She gave good description. Girl, I out mountain trading post. Passed along these directions. Not sure if I'm in the right area, but. If you're watching, please send a message. Correct me if I'm wrong. But no matter what, it's still a pretty beautiful place. Little book cliffs, wild horse area. This is Mesa Verde sandstone. Um, 72 to 66 million years old, I believe. Shout out to the girls at Elk Mountain Trading Post. What a cool, what a cool rock. Usually just about any rock of this size is a Lieberite. But if you'd like this, you can go to colorado.com slash giveaway. Leave a message saying I want that. In this video at this time. Gotta be a subscriber and go to that URL linked in the description. Trilobites were one of the longest living aquatic, kind of like a horseshoe crab nowadays. And if we're finding some aquatic fossilized coral it's got to be a good sign that we may find some trilobites too or potentially baculites or ammonites they're all found within a few dozen a couple uh, a dozen miles of this location so depending on the elevation and what this area looked like 72 million years ago and 66 million years ago. You may find a little pocket of them here and a little pocket of them there. As you can with uranium and coal. There are a few mines up here in various pockets. Various canyons. However... Sixty six, seventy two million years ago. The big peaks may have been islands, T Rex, Triceratops walked up there. They found a Triceratops or a, a, a Tyrannosaurus about uh, 50, 60 miles that way in this same geological formation. BYU uh, seven years ago and trilobite has been on the bucket list for quite a while a video had been wanting to bring you guys and I'd been thinking the nearest location was something like two and a half hours away But, I'm wrong. Who knows what you can find. A piece of light. That was pretty cool. I'm 
Walked over some anthracite coal. And up here you can find wild horses, clearly, obviously, being in the little wild horse area. And mountain lions, desert bighorn, antelope, deer. <laughs> uh, of course, it's probably a pretty good area for deer and elk. Please send a message or leave a comment if you know where to go, if you know where I'm supposed to be. Trailer bites on the bucket list. And if this is the nearest place to home where you can find one, more trips will be made. You can see where there was a wildfire last year, the year before, a couple years ago. Big fire came right through all of this. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. There's turtella available at Colorado and I'd heard there was turtella that could be found in Colorado. But that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Oh yeah. That rock is pretty cool too. Anybody know whether through your vision, through the screen, whether that looks to you to be agate or calcite. That's quite interesting. Wow. I had no idea Turritella could be found so close to home too. That is, that is awesome. That's a good sign. Although I can't be in the right area, obviously, because, I mean, I, uh, maybe in the right area, but I think what she had described as far as for trilobites goes, there's some more, that's some, some of my follow, favorite fossilized coral. I'd imagine you'd be able to just find a whole bunch. But if we find one or two here or there on the way there, that'd be a good sign.
Somebody just recently, too, coincidentally, uploaded a picture of one of these piece of lights and thought it was a Potoski stone. But it obviously can't be a Potoski stone because we're not in Michigan. But I wonder if it's formed the same way. It's pretty cool. That, that's got to be another fossilized coral. And that looks almost like seashells. We'll break that one open later. But and then there's another big one. Look at the size of this one though. That's not coming home. But that's pretty cool. Hope nobody has that trypanophobia or the fear of holes like that. <laughs> What cool rocks you can find here. That is a big one, but it's coming home for one of you guys. Colorado.com slash giveaway. Look at this. sure what that is but that's pretty cool as is that and then this one will come home for one of you guys that is insane but this one's not coming home that's staying that's that's a pretty big one that's pretty cool. Oceanic animals, fossilized, now nearly a mile high. Wow. This has got to be a stromatolite. If you watch Rock Counting Adventures, he has a video where he found some stromatolite. And to be honest, I was a little jealous. I had no idea how you could tell whether it was a stromatolite. But here, it's not banded agate. It doesn't feel like agate. It feels more kind of like limestone. And look at the... The pattern, you can see exactly how the stromatolite was growing layer upon layer upon layer. That is so awesome. I can't thank you enough. Probably my favorite bud tender so far. Bud tender and rock location advice giver. Elk Mountain Trading Post knows where the cool rocks are, apparently. Thank you. And thank you. This one's not coming home either, but that is just so cool. That is just a big rock, though. That'd be cool to bring home if it wasn't so enormous and so heavy. So cool.
Hey, buddy. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's pretty cool. Those have got to be like an inch in diameter. Pretty big holes. Thank you all for coming along on this. Thought I'd just make a short video for y'all. Appreciate you all for watching. If you'd like to see more, just put out an aquamarine video last week and a bear in the book list video is coming soon. There will be more coming from here, obviously. But thank you for the recommendation for the place to come. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being awesome. Everybody loves rocks, but... Thanks for making loving rocks so much fun. Everybody's always loved rocks, but our grandparents and a million years ago, our great, 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 great grandparents, they all couldn't share the love of and appreciation for rocks other than with their neighbors. Someone would come along and they'd trade, but they couldn't post to YouTube and show everyone all around the world the cool rocks that you can find in Colorado. So thank you all for coming along, and if you'd like to watch Bacculites from over that way, or Shark Teeth from over that way, click right here, or click right there. If you want to subscribe, click right here. But until next time, you guys have a great night.